Hi, this is Dr. Don. Let's spend a few minutes talking about R Studio's work panes. When you first start up R Studio, you may only see three windows, and they are known as the console window, which is where the first tab in the console. That's where your code runs generally. And then we have the environment tab over here in the upper right, and that's where we show the data objects that we have. Here we've got one just called Gapminder Data Frame and also the History Connections Tutorial. We mainly work with just the environment. History would show all your commands that you've run. And down in the bottom right is the files is a pane and in it we, you can see we've got plots, packages. We use that a lot. Those are the packages that we install. Help, Viewer, and Presentation. But we only have these three. We don't have the fourth one that is known as the source editor or source or just sometimes as the editor pane. And that's because we don't have a source file open. So I'm going to open one here. I'm going to take click on this .rmd file, a markdown file, which we use in the labs, and click on that. And you can see now we've got another pane that's open here. And this is the source pane. That's where the source comes from. Um, there's the editor. It's also where you write your code and edit your code if you want to keep copies of it, which we do, of course. So this is the source pane. Now you can resize these by dragging to get more room. And you can collapse by using these little icons, or expand, I should say, collapse. Down here, if I want to collapse, I can get rid of the uh, source pane. You see it's still there, it's just collapse. But those are the panes. You'll do most of your coding in the source pane. Hope this helps.